one of the passengers. But he's an experienced Air Force pilot, a flew during the war, so there's no cause for alarm. Henshaw, take over. What kind of plane is it? Oh, it's a big, pretty white plane with red stripes and curtains in the window and wheels, and it looks like a big tile and all. Chief, this weather bulletin just came off the wire. Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Well, I could make a cap, or a brooch, or pterodactyl. Um. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. Johnny, how much more coffee? No, thanks. Chief, these reporters won't leave without a statement. How much longer? Stryker, that plane can't land itself. It takes a pilot who can handle pressure. He's off, Rex. He hasn't flown for years. It's not his fault. It could happen to any pilot. It happened to Barbara Stanwyck. Push him too hard. He might break. Gotta remember who you're dealing with. Nick, Heath, Jared, there's a fire in the bar. Fog is getting thicker. And Leon's getting larger. Number, look at this. Passengers certain to die. Airline negligent. There's a sale at Penny's. All right, I'll need three men up in the tower. You, Nubar, you must see us. Me, John, big tree. Stand by, Stryker. We're going to the tower. Good luck. We're going to the tower. The tower? The tower? Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Now, so, Linda. Your husband and the others are alive, but unconscious. Just like Gerald Ford. Now, there's a chance that we can save him if Stryker can get that plane down in time. That isn't much of a chance, is it? I don't know, Linda. I don't know. Well, we're doing everything we can. Now, excuse me, huh? Where did you get that dress? It's awful, and those shoes and that coat. Oh, jeez. Put down more flat. Just kidding. <laughs> Striker, lift your nose. Striker. Gate 13. Gate 14. Gate 15. <laughs> Twenty-three. 